In this video, we will show you how to replace your ignition lock cylinder on this Chevy Silverado. This will be mounted along the passenger side of your steering column. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Make your way under the hood to the battery. Remove your negative battery terminal using an 8 millimeter. A quick inspection and set that aside. Now we can make our way into the passenger compartment. Now in the passenger compartment, we're going to gain focus on the steering column itself. We have to remove the upper and lower trim panel here so we can gain access to the mounting tab for the ignition lock cylinder. If you were to tilt the steering column up, you're going to find that you have small ports along the bottom. Some vehicles will have mounting screws, others will not. You have to take a quick look and see if yours does. Ours does not. With that said, I'll be separating the two pieces of trim panel with a small trim tool. Make your way in between the two panels and gently start twisting to separate them. Should start coming apart. You can see where the shifter knob comes through. It does have a rubber protective boot. You don't have to worry about that so much right now. During the installation, we will have to get that aligned. one side we'll do the same on the other there we are. now we should be able to grab hold of this top panel gently push it forward towards the gauge cluster and lift it up and out diagonally a quick inspection and we'll set this aside Now we can start removing the lock cylinder. To remove the lock cylinder, you want to pay attention to this hole up along the top of the steering column. We're going to stick something inside of there. You can use a pick of some sort if you want, or even just a bent cotter pin. We'll slide that down and through the hole. Now while I'm applying downward pressure, I'm going to take hold of the key. We're going to turn that to the start position. As we're turning that, we can also start pulling it away. And there it is, friend. While that's out of position, let's have a quick inspection to confirm that everything's still in good working order. Now we can continue on to the installation of our brand new ignition lock cylinder. Pay attention to this area where my index finger is. We want to make sure that we do have that properly aligned. Continue on pressing it in as far as you can by hand. We'll cycle the key a couple times. All the way off, start, all the way off. Double check to make sure it's completely secured. Now we can start reinstalling our trim panels. While installing the lower trim panel here, we want to make sure that we still have the shift linkage boot in place. You might find that it comes out of place. If that's the case, just slide it up, slide it down inside the groove, double check to make sure it's properly secured on the bottom trim panel. Now we can continue on with the upper trim panel. Looking at the upper trim panel along the back side, you can tell that you have these small pitons that stick out a little bit. If you were to look at the same area on the lower trim panel, it has two small hooks essentially looking like this, one on each side. You would take that piece of trim panel and slide it in so that the piton fits right around that hook, slides in, and then you can just roll this down to latch it in. You can raise or lower the steering column as necessary, and you may also find you have to put the key in the on position to pull down on your shift lever. We're paying attention to that boot as we roll this down. Of course, we can properly align it once we have this a little closer. There we are. Let's get this aligned. We'll just continue on to properly aligning these and pressing them in. There we are. Double check that boot while we're on this side. 
Continue on, do the same thing on the driver's side of the steering column. Slide this in. There we go. Little tap, double check to make sure it's completely secured. This looks good. We'll shift back into park, remove the key, and reconnect our negative battery terminal. In the engine compartment, we'll reattach our negative battery terminal. Start that in by hand, snug it up with your eight millimeter wrench. Okay, in the passenger compartment, we'll test the functionality. Perfect. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.